people are very angry at Andrews for the last two years. They're not, very not angry. Not just the freedom people. You're no, 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 no. I, I have never seen so many people angry at a politician in the way that they are with this guy. Because it's not even, it's not solely the two years of lockdown. It's just his attitude going forward. It's it's the last, it's the disregard for the hospital waiting list. It's the disregard for the triple O. And those issues people are worried about mm. in and of themselves. Mm. But they are also unhappy with the dismissiveness with which he treats those things. You know, they are important things that, you know, these things have got out of hand. They're not going to be fixed if the government doesn't say, well, actually, things aren't as good as they should be. And stop blaming COVID because we keep getting reports about how things relating to the waiting list and relating to triple O were actually reported to this government beforehand. Before, you know, yeah. Prime example, yeah. 2018, they were given a report <laughs> that triple O was falling apart mm. and they chose not to do anything about it. And now they're saying, oh, it's COVID. You know, don't treat people like idiots. Another great example is the hotel quarantine. I've had as m- probably more complaints about the code inquiry than I have about the actual issue. For wow. someone to say, I don't recall, I don't recall. Oh. Australians are a forgiving lot. Australians yeah, would yeah. cop, you know, gee, we, we didn't do it so well. We thought, you know, the security guards had lost their job and we thought we could give them a job while dealing with the quarantine issue and it didn't really work. And, oh, gee, you know, it, it's early days and we're trying to get on our feet. People would go, okay, I see mm-hmm. what you're trying to do. Mm. But to get up and, what was it, 27 times <clears> for the <throat> Premier to say, I can't recall, I can't recall, I can't that is treating people like idiots. And I don't and, and that's the kind of anger that I see come back to me is don't treat me like an idiot. You know broad, you're seeing that quite broadly, that oh, attitude. It's brought across every single part of Melbourne yeah. and out in the regions. Don't treat me like I'm an idiot because when when someone becomes so arrogant like a Keating or a Kennett or um, you know people just won't deal with their leaders treating them like fools and coming across that they think they're better than them. They just won't cop it. And I think that's what's coming through most, more than anything else, is just a a hatred of a guy who thinks he's better than you and you should just shut up and do what you're told.